Hello everybody, welcome back. Combat 2 by Compass Games, designed by Ross Martell. We are on turn 3. We have not gotten any scheduled reinforcements yet, but we have gotten random event reinforcements so far. Um, I do believe this turn that I want to drop a flare down right around here somewhere. Actually, right around here somewhere. Maybe I can catch these guys coming over the ridge. Um, I just hope I don't screw myself and um, catch myself coming over the ridge. So I think we're going to go ahead and drop Martin's flare right here and hope it stays right there. And if not, my guys are going to just pounce over the ridge. Taking a risk, but I doubt they're going to be able to do too much. I mean, they're going to be moving forward, hopefully. So we'll see. So we will go ahead first and foremost. Use the card I did not want to use. And I forgot to get rid of my old cards. That was last time's event. Got to get rid of them now. We can put that on the dis initiative. There we go. Um, could have just done that with an undo button. Sometimes we get a little crazy. Uh, he's going to be a fire order. We're going to pop that flare, flare up there. Aimed fire, and we're going to put flare on the label so I know that he's firing a flare. I want to get my VAR and my... Actually, I may do something I very rarely do and stack my guys together right here. I could probably even get away with putting one there, but it's not going to do any good. He's not going to be able to see over these trees. I want one down here just in case, but he's not going to be able to see anything. So I better just keep my guys together. I'll stack them all up here. Don't normally do that, but all these guys are going to move. So we're going to just put a vade on all of them, get them up over that ridge. And that flare, I'm going to pop that flare. I think I'm going to pop it here or here. And um, the wind's blowing this direction. Maybe I'll even pop it down here. Try and catch anybody coming over this um, ridge right here for a little bit. Maybe we can catch a couple of them. Just thinking, don't mind me. All right, got to watch that dead air. Um, yeah, that's gonna do it. I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with them orders. Hopefully, I like it. We'll see. Uh, Red up here in cover. He is going to rapid fire. He's not gonna be able to see anybody because of the uh, trees and stuff in front of him. So he's just trying to make it look good. But dude, you're outside the visibility of all your friends. And no, none of your officers or NCOs are going to see you. So don't even try and put up a front. This guy is in the trees. Bold. Ain't fire. Don't want to make a mistake. If we get that flare on us, these guys, some of these guys may get lucky and be able to see us. But I got to try. I got to do something. I don't want to let them get too close unmolested. <coughs> I want to slow them down a little bit. This guy's in cover. He's going to rapid fire. Wow, three out of three on fire orders so far. Uh, this guy is should have done him first in the open. Evade 6-5. Uh, blue. He is in the open. He's going to rapid fire. Wow. It's going to be Blue's initiative. Red in the open. Aim fire. Wow. Too late. I already put the order on the pop of flare. Maybe I don't want to do that with all these guys stopping and firing. But it's too late now. We put the order on. We've got to do it. Um, evade 4-5. I mean, let's face it, we wouldn't know they're going to be stopping and firing. As far as we're concerned, they're moving up after us. Uh, this guy's bolting in cover. Dang on, suppress fire. Yep. 
That's all right. We'll catch him eventually. Uh, this guy is in the open. Running gun 5-6. This guy is in cover. Running gun 6-5. This guy is in the open. Evade 6-5. Yeah, these guys are all moving. This guy is in cover. Aim fire. He's one that could be dangerous if I make a mistake. Which they usually do with flares. Undo that. That's the wrong button. I just want to look at the... Uh, come on, Greg, seriously? Uh, these guys are all in the open. Uh, sneaking 5-6. Uh, discard that one. Uh, evade 5-6. And one more. Blue down the bottom there is in the open. Running gun 5-6. Oh, got that right on the first one. All right, we are ready to roll. Let's set up our initiative track and see if my plan works or, or falls flat in the face. Um, let's see, my best is 18 and 26. So we're going to go before them, uh, Charlie Abel Blue. And then it's going to be Baker and Red. All right. Starting out with Charlie. He's aimed fire. This guy's going to evade. Go to Abel. He's evading. Let's start putting them together right now. He's evading. Got blue. Rapid fire evading four. Up to there, this guy's running on five over to here. Evading six down to here. Ain't fire. This guy's sneaking, can't do anything, and this guy is running gunning five up to here. Alright, we go to Baker. Going to evade up to there. Try and get our guys, keep our guys consolidated. Red. Rapid fire, aimed fire, evade six down to here. Rapid fire, aimed fire, su suppress fire. Running gun six down to here. Evade five up to here. That's going to do it for red. And that is going to do it for impulse number one. Impulse number two, moment of truth. Charlie. Gonna fire his flare. I want to fire that right there. I think I'm gonna put it. Then we're going to scatter two down this away. How many hexes? One, zero, none. I'm gonna stay right where it was. Flare illuminates and show the illumination. I knew that would spark my guys off but um, that's actually not bad that's about what I wanted but I'm going to put my guys here so we're going to be able to see guys coming across this is the only place we're going to be able to see them and I'm all right with that at least we got something we can kind of see on I could actually put my guys up right here and it would not hurt and I may do that for a turn or two just to try and catch them they're in the darkness I don't need cover because they can't see me that's a thought. Get some guys up on here. Yeah, that's a good thought. Maybe I'll do that. All right. Um, so he fired his flare. This guy's going to evade. I'm going to put him up here now. To try and I like where that flare went. So I'm going to try and put guys on high cover and pick them off coming over to Ridge for a little bit. And it's going to bring Abel up. 
and Abel, I'm going to go ahead and bring up to right here and duck both of them guys back. Let's see if we can catch some people sleeping. And uh, I like where that flare went, so that changes my whole tactic this time. Not tactic, but it was what I was planning on doing, but rather to drop back to here, we'll just stay out of the range of their sight a little bit and take a shot next turn if we can. Um, blue. Rapid fire, evading five. Running gunning six. Evading five. Aim fire. Sneaking. Going to go five. This guy is running gun six. Baker. He's going to evade up to here, and I'm going to duck him back. We'll put fire orders on next turn, and maybe we can catch some people sleeping. Um, red. Rapid fire. Nothing. Aim fire. Nothing. Evade. Five. Goes up. Knock down, dummy. Um, running gun. Five. Goes up. Evading. Six. Goes down. That's it for red. That's it for impulse two. Not a bad impulse at all, from my perspective. Charlie will be next. Uh, he is now top of the stack, so he's going to evade up to here and duck back. This guy should have ducked back last turn when he fired the flare, so he goes to a hide. Abel. Both of these guys are going to go to a hide. Blue, uh, evading four this time is straight up. Rapid fire, he's not doing anything. Running gun in five this time is up to here. Evading six is right down to there. Sneaking, not doing anything. This guy is running gunning five, which is up into these foxholes. Are not foxholes, craters. Um, Baker. He's going to a hide. Got red. Rapid fire up here. Actually, I do got to see. I don't think any of these guys can really see him because of this ridge. That tree. The only ones that might be able to know that tree is going to block these guys from seeing them too because they can't. They can see up if there was light on this. They could see it, but they can't see across the tree to a level one. So yeah, then we don't even need to check for that. All right. Nobody's up on any, nothing, no. Nobody's up on any level ones yet to check. And these level ones block him from seeing him. And there's no light on there. So yeah, we're good. We are good. Just fine. Running gun six goes down to there. He goes evade five up to there. End of impulse three. We go to impulse number four. Charlie. He's hiding. He is now going to hide. Abel is hiding. Blue. Evading five comes up into here. Hmm. I don't know how I managed that one. Um, Basil does some strange stuff sometimes. Sometimes I love Basil, but every once in a while, it'll drive you nuts. But what does drive you nuts is well worth the simplicity and um, of setting it up, moving things around, keeping track of stuff, counters, clean up, you name it. So I love Vassal. And I don't have much space anyway, so. And I don't do my feet very well anymore because I can't feel my feet, my legs. So, um, Vassal is my way to go. Baker, hiding, can't see anybody yet because nobody's in the light. Got rid. Rapid fire, nothing. Ain't fire, nothing. Rapid fire, nothing. Evading 6 5. He's going to go into these foxholes. I probably mixed them two up, but it's not going to matter. This guy's running gun five. He wants to go into the light. 
this guy's evading six. He looks like he's going to try to avoid the light. That would be a smart move. <clears throat> that is the end of that turn. End of impulse four, the end of the turn. Shits to the holding box, impulse of one. Turn goes to four. Bring that over so we don't forget to roll for our reinforcements. Get rid of all the cards because I tend to forget to do that. Get rid of all the moves. Get rid of all the orders. We don't check for this because it just came out. So we're just going to roll for the next turn. The next turn we've got four. No more reinforcements yet. This is unbelievable. That's why I'm getting so ballsy to make a stand right here. I haven't gotten reinforcements coming in yet. Um, I know it'll cost me. Uh, we are at the mercy of the deck, so let's draw a card. I hope it's not a trip. I've been getting a lot of them lately. Nope, no trip. But we do use up a KIA right away, but that's all right. I'll try and shuffle that back in there on an event. Um. My orders ain't fire for him. Actually, that's going to be ain't fire for everybody. Except this guy in the open. And I'm going to have him come back up here. So he's going to... It wouldn't be worth a running gun on him. I'm just going to go ahead and sneak him up there so he's hard to see. All right, and that's my orders. Now we're going to go through the German orders. We got red up here in cover. Bold, suppress fire. He just doesn't want to do anything. All right with me. You stay up there. That's red's initiative. Bold and cover down here. He's going to evade six, so he's going to try and join the shell. Uh, we got red over here in the foxholes. That's cover. Um, he is going to be an aimed fire. Again, can't see this guy because he's level with this. And there's no light on him, so we, they can't see us yet. That's a good thing. Blue is in cover. Aimed fire. They think these guys are getting all defensive because they seem to flare pop. They're all stopping to look around. Um, cover, aimed fire again. I'm just going to leave that one aimed fire on both of them. This guy is in the open. Ain't fire. Notice how everybody just stopped as soon as that flare popped. Everybody stopped. I do not question that rule pulling at all. I mean, you know, orders pulling at all. It's what they would probably do. They would freeze or get into cover. This guy's open, sneaking one six or sneak on the ground. <clears throat> This guy's in cover right here. That is going to be a sneak 5-6. Not jumping right into the light like I'd hope they'd do. <clears throat> now these guys are both in the open. Blue in the open first. Sprint 5. Well, he is. But he's going north too. He's, going to, he's actually going to skirt the light. That's a problem. He could come back to haunt me later. He's going to wind up up here somewhere, which I have no no uh, no coverage on. So he comes back down. We could be in trouble. This guy is in white uh, open, running gun six. He's going to he's going to present a target. Um, this guy is in the open. Running gun one, that will not be a target. One is straight down. He's definitely skirting the uh, skirting the light. Uh, this guy's in cover. Running gun six, he's skirting the cover too. Hmm. A lot of them are skirting the cover. I mean the uh, not the cover, the the uh, flare. Which I don't blame them. Don't get me wrong. I just disappointed. I was hoping a lot of them would fly over the ridge and give me some targets. Um, sprint six. He 
he's definitely not coming up over the ridge either. So, you know, not not much. Oh, good Lord, there we go again, Greg. Come on, you're an idiot sometimes. Mine knows what it wants to do. It just hits the wrong button. Uh, rapid fire for the top guy. Dude, you're sitting behind a building. And the bottom guy is sneaking for five. He's going to come up around the building. And that is the orders. We are ready to go. Again, no reinforcements yet. Amazing. Baker, Red, Charlie. Abel and then Blue. I'm going to pause this real quick, guys. I'll be right back. All righty, then. Um, we are ready to start. Baker. Baker is aimed. Fire has no targets or no spotting yet. Red. Evading six. Down to there. Aimed fire. Sneaking, nothing, sneaking, nothing. Running gun six, down to here. And that is it for red. We go to Charlie. Guy sneaking, the other guys ain't fire. No targets have presented themselves yet. Abel staying there so they can't spot. And blue. Aim fire, aim fire. Sprinting five. I don't think trees are blocking. Not blocking, rough. You can't run through, oh boy, Greg, come on. You can't run through uh, rough. No, I know we can run through trees. I've done it before. Um, the other guy I was thinking about was foxholes or craters. Can run through foxholes, but we cannot run through craters. Okay, we cannot run through craters. That's coming up. All right, so he's okay sprinting there. This guy's running gun one coming straight down. This guy's running gun six. Let's get him out of the way first. Then he's going to run and gun one. This guy is sprinting six down to here, and he is going to duck back right away. And this guy's sneaking, can't do anything. That's the end of impulse one. We go to impulse number two. Starting with Baker. Still don't have anybody in the light for him to see, so he can't do anything this impulse. So we go to red. Red suppress fire, aimed fire, aimed fire, evading six. Sneaking one goes down. Sneaking five goes up. Running gun six tops the ridge. He can attempt to see my guy sneaking in there. Um, so minus one, he's a four. Minus one is a three. And the minus two does not apply because it's not dark. Eight, he does not see me, which is good. This guy's rapid fire. Charlie. That was the only risk I took, and he's going to sneak out of the light now, so that won't happen again. Um, and he can attempt to spot this guy. That's a four. Um, running gunning in the open. That's a plus one, I believe. Plus two, five, six. And we do see him. And that's a soldier. And um, so this guy's actually going to be able to pop fire on him, so we're going to be spotted. Or. Running gun is a minus one. We need a three to hit. get a four. That's a miss. Uh, we go to Abel. Got aimed fire on Mitchell. Who is a newbie and not very good at firing. We spotted because he's firing. Three minus two. I mean minus one is a two. 
We need, oh, goodness. Bite my tongue, Mitchell. Good shot so far. We'll see. Bad wound. That's good shot, Mitchell. Duck back right there on the, in the light, and he is badly wounded. Goes down to a two. Fails his morale check. Goes down to. I'll run him on down to cautious. And that is the first one off of the tracker. So my little flare stop and pop is working so far. And next to Abel down here is a fire bell. He's going to be spotted also. And that is a range of seven, which is going to hurt a little bit. Um, he has Thompson, though. Yes, he has a Thompson. The Thompson range is seven. I just want to do one shot. I don't lose anything. If I want to do three shots, I'm going to lose two. I'm not going to lose anything. Let's just go ahead and fire one shot. We need a five because ducking back now. Ducking back in the open is a zero. So we're just going to fire at a five. Oh, God, dude. That would be three shots for three. As opposed to one shot for five. Let's go three shots for three. I like the three shots for three better. Uh, two, four, and a six. So we got one hit. We would have had one hit regardless. And we are deadly. Light wound and a light wound. That's going to be a light wound. Don't think it's going to be enough to kill him, but it's going to definitely make his day rough. Um, that takes him down to a zero. He gets a two. So he goes down, shaken, and route, and we get another point on the combat track or confidence tracker for that one. Very nice. Very nice. That worked out rather well. Just for one guy, but we'll take whatever we can get. Blue. Oh, ain't fire. Can't see anybody. They cannot see me. I'm in the darkness. I mean, they could fire away suppressive fire or something, but, um, uh, very, very slim chances. I don't know. Are they even able to use? I think they are. Suppress. Look that up real quick. Visible known target. Visible known target. Okay. They can't just... I wanted to double check that because I didn't remember whether they could fire at just... Some some games will let you do covering fire at a, uh, at a location. Or suppressive fire at a location. Aimed fire. We were on blue. And nothing. Nothing. Sprinting. Five. He's going to go up on top of here. He's the one that worries me because he's he's going. Well, he may not go through the light though. That could drift this turn if it doesn't go pop out. So we'll see how that plays out. He's gone there. He's gone there. He goes to a duck back. Goes to a hide. This guy is sneaking four, which is back up here. That is it for blue. That is it for impulse number two. We're going to go to impulse number three. Impulse number three. We go to Baker. Baker can spot, but nothing else, and there's no one for him to spot. Red. Aimed fire, evade six. Down to here. This guy's sneaking. Can't do anything. Sneaking, can't do anything. Ducking back, goes to a hide. Rapid fire, nothing. Charlie. Uh, sneaking, can't do anything. Ain't fire, can't do anything but spot. There's nobody to spot. Abel, ditto, nobody to spot. And blue. Ain't fire, can't see anybody. Ain't fire, can't see anybody. Sprinting, five. Going to there. Uh, sneaking, can't do anything. S running, gunning, one. He's going down to here. Sim pulse, three. So I'm just going to go ahead and duck him back because he's not going to be able to 
do any more next to impulse. This guy's are running on six down to here. That is it for blue. We go to impulse number four. Shooting impulse. Starting out with Baker. We just have one target, and that's this guy hiding in the open, which is a minus two. We got two shots for a five. I'm going to go ahead and keep lighting him up. Two shots for five. A two and a four. <laughs> two hits, and he's deadly. That's almost not fair. Light wound and a close call. We'll take the light wound, which is going to kill him, and a close call and a light wound, which is also going to kill him. So that's like um, picking up the scraps there. Evans gets the first kill, but he didn't really earn that one. That's an assist. <laughs> but he gets credit for it because he finished them off. Remove them and put him on a KIA. We don't move the confidence tracker because he was already routed and badly wounded. Red. Evading six, he's coming to there. This guy is sneaking six down to here. Sneaking six down to here. Over here we have rapid fire doing nothing. That is right. The other red disappeared in a pink mist on the ridge. Charlie. Charlie has no targets. Abel has no targets. Blue. Printing. Right there. He, he's going to completely be past that. Uh, even if it... Even if it um, Drifts, he's not going to be in it. And sneaking five, he's going up to here. He's going, oh, he can go one more. I don't know what I was thinking there. I wasn't thinking. He's going to go to the there. That was a running gun one, and I thought, for some reason, I thought he was in the edge of the board. I'm a dumbass. What can I say? This guy's right there. And that's going to end that turn. All the chits go back to the holding box. Impulse goes to one. Turn goes to number five. We're going to bring this out so hopefully we don't forget the roll for them. We're going to get rid of all the moves. Get rid of all the orders because nobody's rallying and nobody is medical. Nobody is. Um, there are no grenades. We do got to check this. Eight or nine, it winks out. And zero, it does not. So it's going to drift in the direction of the wind, which is five. It's going to go right there. That might be worth just sitting around one more. Round four. We can't see him because of this. This guy might. Yes, he can. I might just sit around one more turn. And I forgot to sneak this guy. He should have snuck up there with him. Snuck? Sneaked? <laughs> I don't know. <sighs> That's the end of that turn. Um, 32 minutes. We will call that a turn. See you guys next time. We are on our... Um, Patrol, trying to avoid this German patrol that is, is pursuing us. It's a rather large one. It's supposed to be a small one, but the outnumber is three to one. So far, we've cut them odds down just a little bit, and we will see you guys next time. Combat 2 by Compass Games, designed by Ross Mortel. That was turn four of our patrol. Thanks for joining me. See you guys next time.